Awesome. So I'm here with Gigi Norris. Gigi Norris and I go way back into the summer. She earned our libero MVP, MVP here at our position camp, and I was one of her coaches. So Gigi, tell us about your summer camp experience. You did most of your college camps close to home this summer. How come? Do you want to stay close to home or have you even started thinking about that? Right now, I'm mainly focused on Metro, but I was trying to stay close because there were so many Metro camps, and I wasn't trying to go so far out and, like, put do so much work to myself. But, I mean, I think I did enough college camps. It was mainly UVA ones, but they were so close to home. But it was mainly, like, a Metro type of summer. I was mainly trying to focus on that and train my best to, like, for Metro. I just focused on that. Do you think next summer you're going to attend – camps further away or what do you think about next summer yeah I'm planning on going really far <laughs> normally I don't really go really far I remember not this previous summer but the last one I only that was like my first time ever going home I went to UV uh think West Virginia and I think that was in Maryland and that was it but this summer I'm planning on actually like going pretty far I'm gonna go to a good amount of camps so I'm pretty excited for how that go. That's awesome. So we see that you're also training some beach volleyball. Do you want to play beach in college as well, both indoor and outdoor? Uh, my main goal is to play division one volleyball for indoor volleyball. So I just do it when I like have an extra weekend off for like Metro or something. I mainly try to spend most of my weekends though for indoor, but whenever I have a friend that wants to play and I have time, I'll just do it with them for fun. Now, here's a real question. Do you like beach or indoor better? I'd say indoor. <laughs> it's just really hard. And I'm I'm like five, six. So I, mean, I can't really block and I just pass a lot. That's like mainly it. Yeah. And we also see that in your practice clips, you're starting to practice some setting. So yeah. you know, talk to me about that decision. It's not the position. I'm trying to get my hands down. I'm like, like trying to like focus on my form and my technique so I can like set back row better. It's not that I'm trying to be set or anything. I'm so wanting to be a libero BS. <laughs> it's just like now, like people are starting to do more back uh, setting. So I'm trying to focus on that and like get better at that and work on my technique. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, we also saw that you're not playing high school volleyball. So talk me through your decision with that. Um, it wasn't anything like too serious. I just mainly was trying to focus and train for my Metro 16s year because I just want to focus on that more and train, get tip top shape that I can and just focus on schoolwork and uh, train for Metro. That's awesome. Um, so you're one of those prospects that likes to use social media to post your practice clips any highlights you have? What's your idea behind that? Did someone mention you to start posting on your socials or did you just think that it would be a good way for you to get seen? Yeah, I thought it was just a good way for me to get seen because I, when I played for Blue Ridge Volleyball, I think I was like nine maybe. And that was my first year ever playing like travel volleyball or anything. I was a practice player, my first time ever trying out for a team. And I wanted to like, I wanted to get serious with volleyball. So I was like, okay, I want to do my best. So I would go on YouTube before like games and I would like sit there and watch like people play. And I came across your videos. <laughs> I remember watching you and I would always go on YouTube and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I want to be one of them. So I asked my mom when I was like 12, maybe my 13th year playing for Blue Ridge. I was like, I want to get social media. And she was like, for what? And I was like, <laughs> uh, I want to post some highlights of me playing. It was just me like playing like in a game or something. And I, we would like use like iMovie. I remember at first we would like take my, we would record the game, put it on iMovie. And we would like try to get my best clips that we could and just post them on YouTube. And then I got Instagram. And then that's when I like, I would watch a lot of like Instagram reels and I would see a lot of volleyball players. So I got the idea to just like make reels and just post as many videos as I can to get myself seen. So that was just mainly how it started, just wanting to get myself out there. Yeah, that's awesome. And you're already highly decorated at your young age. So what's next for you, GD? Um, hope to play Division One volleyball. That's my main goal. Um, I'm trying out for Metro again. So that's what I'm focusing on, is just training for Metro, honestly. And I going to a lot of Metro camps or practices during the weekends.
a long time. So doing that right now and then just hoping to go to the best college that I can, that I think that's best for myself with good culture, athletics and academics. That's what I want really just a place I think I would fit in at. That sounds great. Well, Gigi, thanks so much for sitting down with us and talking with us and we wish you the best of luck in your upcoming club season. Thank you.